It was a shocking case that dominated headlines back in 1986. A Long Island high school cheerleader paid to have her abusive father killed. Well, now she's finally talking about why she felt murder was her only choice. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff with an update from Medford, Suffolk County. That is a name that I try to forget as much as possible. If the name Cheryl Pearson sounds familiar, you're remembering a notorious murder. She now goes by Cheryl Cuccio, dropping Pearson three decades ago after she had James Pearson, her father, killed. I didn't realize at that time that murder was so final. Um, I just wanted the problem to stop and go away. Now a 47-year-old mother, she's talking publicly about the horrors that prompted her as a 16-year-old cheerleader to recruit a boy in homeroom for murder. He carried out the deed with a rifle in her Selden driveway. I wish I wouldn't have asked him, but I was desperate. Hiding a then unspeakable secret. It wasn't that he was killed for his money. It wasn't that he was killed because we didn't like him. It was because he was beating and raping his daughter on, an, uh, on almost an every night basis. Their new memoir, Incest, Murder, and a Miracle, written with husband Rob Cuccio, her high school sweetheart who paid the trigger man, describes her father's sick control over her body and life while her mother lay dying. It would be before we went to the hospital to see her on her deathbed. It would be when we got home from seeing her. It was just such torment. And she feared he had his sights set on her eight-year-old sister. She pled guilty as a juvenile. I just can't believe it's over. And served only three months. When I covered this case 30 years ago, it had the public divided. When, if ever, is murder justified? Many understood a teen who saw no way out of a desperate situation, but some didn't believe her. Why would you lie about something like that? Why would you want to tell people that that happened to you? That is the most shameful, disgusting, 30 thing that you could ever say. And what they call a miracle? Rob saved me my whole life. He protected me and gave me the strength. And I have, wasn't able to speak up for myself as a kid. He's now alive, and we're still together. And that is the miracle. Alive after a heart attack and was pronounced dead, Cheryl finally found the courage to speak up, begging medics to keep working on him till his pulse returned. They hope their story now helps others find a voice. It's not something that just goes away. Um, but incest does not define you. We need to speak up for each other because it still happens out there. This chapter, they say, will be devoted to reaching victims. In Medford, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And Sean Pika, the teen who committed the murder for hire, served 16 years in prison.